Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And there was a reminder for myself, and abdul qiraji so da'if wa miskeen wa zalim wa jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us to complete our Ramadan and to be dressed from the power of annihilation. That the is a might of Allah and the secret of the ninth month in which annihilates the servant to a dust. And that that dust to be taken into the reality of ten, the one in the d- nukht because the nine makes everyone to be a nukht, just the dust in Divinely Presence. Only by means of Ramadan can Allah dress the servant to bring them into the presence of the King and the Divinely Presence. Allah can do what He wants but by virtue of Ramadan Allah annihilates and brings creation into the presence of the Divinely Presence, the Divinely King. And the reality of the month of Shahwal is the nine times the tenth month and ninety. The ninetieth name of Allah Al-Mani, the one whom prevents harm. The ninetieth name of Prophet as a key for that sifat ni'matullah means that Allah's blessings and mercy prevents us from the oceans of difficulty and harm by the key of Prophet Sayyidina Ni'matullah. Ninetieth chapter dresses the realities of this entire creation and Surat Al-Balad, the city. And alhamdulillah that Prophet gives to us to make it to be clear, Ana Madina to in that I'm the city, means the what city is the city of lights, Madina to Munawwara. And that anyone wanting to enter the city of lights has to pass through Haramain, means they have to understand the reality of Mecca and leaving haram, leaving forbidden, leaving polytheism and multiple gods and multiple powers and the reality. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. The reality of Mecca is to teach them there's but one, but one authority, Ahad, Allahu Ahad. And that everyone must submit to that oneness and to that reality. Only when they understood the reality of oneness and they go back in their lives to Medina to Munawwara can the city of lights begin to open for the servant. And the tajalli of this month, Subhana Mandul Arshi Amma Yasifun means, Glory be to the owner of the throne above all else attributed to him. Means of what we think. When we said, Allahu Akbar, that Allah is beyond anything that can be imagined and anything that can be thought. And that this Divinely Kingdom has a king and it's not Allah Allah is the Creator. So if you think that you can go into the presence of Allah, then that becomes the difficulty in your path. That when a person 
thinks that they can arrive and reach to the presence of Allah, they make themselves to be a shariq. Because how you can be in the presence of Allah and how can there be two? A hadiyya means there's but one. One is manifest and all else is non-manifest. And the only one whom reached that reality is Sayyidina Muhammad because that was Allah created that reality. The one whom will be in that Divinely Presence and not manifest in Allah's presence. So that Allah's ahadiyya is always ahadiyya that is one and nothing like unto Him. When Allah brought for us the reality as a revelation for mankind, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ ahad. He revealed to creation that there's a dialogue, قُلْ هُو means the one speaking and one must be spoken to and that becomes the whole reality and the secrets of qul and the Divinely speech. The blessings of Shawan is the state of annihilation, the binary code in which all our comforts of our dunya is coming from that reality. And Allah gives us the people of Marifa that your entire comfort should come from that binary understanding. As dunya is, ex- is enjoying all their technologies and computers and all of these systems, the people of Marifa should understand that the only reason they, un- they enjoy their binary code because the real binary code is for the heavens. When the servant knows that they're nothing and they took a path in which to negate themselves and turn off. Only in the process of turning off can they truly experience being on. The on that they have, the existence that they have, shaitan makes them to think, this is the best. Live life as if there's no tomorrow. Shaitan trying to fool everyone, this is it. Beyond this life there is nothing, enjoy this. And we're described in many different ways in many different talks. Shaitan is the king of all seeds. Never evolved into what the reality should be. As the king of all seeds, his purpose is to keep everybody to be a seed. Then you have no other purpose, be a seed. And we know that the beauty of our existence is only when this seed is planted. When it plants itself within the beatific soil because it can't plant itself in sand, when it plants itself in the beatific soil and surrenders itself to annihilation and become taslima means that through their taslim and submission into that soil Allah make them to be taslima beautific because their reality will sprout. Shaitan is very angered by those fruits. Only purpose is you have to remain a seed. You don't need to seek your reality, you don't have to seek your true purpose. Just you stay amongst the seeds and we throw you at each other and this should be your enjoyment. And then the seeds they wither and dry and they become nothing. They didn't serve the purpose that Allah wanted for them. So Divine Binary Code is the state of learning to be off. 
learning to seclude ourselves and what we described the night before is take solace in your solitude, be happy in solitude. It's not loneliness, if you say lonely you're doing something wrong because the angels are around you, rijal are all around you, awliya are all around. Somebody <laughs> emailed, I turned on my, my surveillance camera from my home, there was so many orbs going all around the house, were we under attack? I said, no, this is the, the kingdom of, of jinn that are guarding premises. Means for a believer to see all these energies everywhere, these are the immense kingdoms of light that are all around servants in the millions if not billions. Means that the immense amount of energies and realities so that loneliness shouldn't be taking place but they should have a, a sense of connecting, meditating and receiving the energy and keeping the audience of the Beloved and the Divinely love of the Divinely Presence manifest through the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad They never meditate on being with Allah because their adab was that Allah will be found in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad That focus on creation, focus on your shaykh, focus on the guides and ask that to be taken to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So Subhana Madhul Arshi Amma Yasifoon is the might and majesty of entering into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and knowing that that lightning and that energy and that qudra is Allah's Divinely Presence upon the heart of His servant. When Allah describes for the people of Marifa, I'm not in heaven and I'm not in paradise, I'm not on earth but I'm in the heart of my believer. Which believer? The only believer for us that's important is Sayyidina Muhammad So means this is a journey to the Lord of power that Allah gave to His nation the gift, I will annihilate your nation. In Ramadan they become like a das, khashiya, clean and pure. And if they take guidance and understanding, we merely blow the dust and it moves into your presence so that they don't raise their head, they don't think of themselves as something, arrogance and pride to be brought down. Only at that state and our life on shawwal is to remember our binary code. Then when we said all the other talks that who sits on the chair? When shaitan sits on the chair you're on in a bad way. When your nas sits on the chair you're on and Allah's off from you. But when your soul sits on the chair you reach the reality of being off and somebody is sitting there with an authority and power. And that becomes the true power, the true source of Divine grace. Many people want to take the reins of their life and show their authority. But that's the nafs, so that's a fake one. But you have to be no one. When you're no one, like no John, <laughs> that's probably where they came up with this no from. <laughs> when you're no one, what happens? The real one comes. So when the soul sits on the chair and when we identify ourselves that, oh that was nafsani when I sat and said that, this was my anger and shaitan when I said that. And when we try to identify that what was when my soul was sitting on the chair, 
means that was the state of angelic grace and Divinely grace and prophetic lights. And that becomes all of the hadith that people want to study. When they had good character means their soul was sitting, the angels were present with them, Divinely lights were present with them, blessings were being dressed upon them. So that means we understand how to be off, when people confront be off, when arrogance and in the face of arrogance turn off and that becomes our whole life struggle on how to turn the energy off, turn the ego off, turn the nafs off and if we can truly reach a state of being off Allah will turn the energy on. And if Allah turns the energy on means then that becomes a real one. So reach no one to become real one. When you're off and Allah is dressing that becomes Hadith Qudsi that I become the ears of that servant, I become the eyes of the servant, I become the breath of the servant. I become the hands and the feet of that servant because the real one is entering onto that chair. So much so that they become Rabbaniyoon and if the real one is there of course they have then kun fayakun. They merely begin to speak and things happen because it's already the will of Allah sitting upon the throne of their heart. It's not they have one will separate from Allah if the one is there the one is the one whom is addressing but when the fake one is there it's shaitan and the nafs and this is all the bad characteristics and that's why the symbol is humility and humbleness. When someone doesn't speak with humbleness and humility then that's a fake one. When they don't teach with humbleness and humility it's a fake one. Means in our whole life will be on how to destroy the fake one in ourselves and how to learn the binary system and to live a life of always being off until it's necessary to be on and through the path of humility and Divinely grace to be dressed. And as a result of being a, a life of being off you have planted your seed and a tree will begin to grow from that reality bearing fruits in which people can benefit from the fruits and the association of those souls inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifu wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.